What's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media, and happy Monday, a day where you get to go to work. Yay, Monday. Uh, got about three more days, guys. Three more days, so I finally get to move into my house. Uh, hire some contractors to do some work, and uh, said it was going to take one week. Three weeks later, half the job is done. So on Saturday, fired his ass. Straight fired him. Whole company. Just get the hell out. That's what I said. Get the hell out. So, got a whole new entire new group coming on Monday, and they should knock it out in about two days. Two. Uno dos. But uh, moving on from that actual news, but I just had to tell you guys that so I could let you guys know to please bear with me for a couple more days because on Saturday I should be uploading in my new location. It's going to be awesome. But uh, moving on from that actual news right now, somebody actually had the nerve to write. Please, let Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, be the last one. So this person named Chris, not me, because I would never say anything so ridiculous, basically came out there and said that all good stories must come to an end. And they need the story to end because it just has to end right now. And I basically say, uh, shut the fuck up. This story should never end. It should go on for like ever. You mean to tell me we could have like 38 Marios, 100 Pokemons, Assassin's Creed every year, but we can only have like three Uncharted's? Four? Shut up. Shut up. Now, moving on from that actual news right now, uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare 900p Xbox One. Now, it's for the multiplayer, but uh, 900p again. It's that 900 just never seems to go away. Xbox. Damn it. So, basically, uh, it was some tests that had happened over the last uh, couple of days. And basically, they came out there and said a running native at uh, 1600 by 900 at both events. Basically, a little has changed with the Xbox One's rendering setup for multiplayer, suggesting that the number is a lock for all modes and final release. What else did you expect? 1080p? On Xbox? Crazy. And in my final bit of news, my final bit, PlayStation 4 finally gets a... Uh, QI compatible inductive wireless charger to help with your DualShock 4's battery. Now we all know that DualShock 4 battery sucks. It literally sucks. It lasts like 15 minutes. I don't even know what's wrong with it. It's like some kind of crazy version or something. I don't know. But this damn thing sucks. And you know it. So basically uh, this company came out with a whole entire uh, wireless induction charging system which is allow you to attach it to the uh, DualShock 4 and you should be able to lay it down on the touchpad and you know they wanted you to consider the ease of slapping your controller on a pad. It might you know help for those who are often interrupted while they play and can't be bothered with plugging in their controller while they take care of business. Well, I have a solution for you. Well, basically you can... Uh, Get off of your lazy ass and plug in your fucking charger. Just, just plug it in. Just plug it in. Plug it in. That's all you got to do. I'm sorry. I, I I don't understand the purpose of me sitting this thing on a pad. It freaks me out just a little bit. Mostly because it's like doing like a microwave type thing where it's charging it. It just kind of freaks me out. It's like I'm being roasted while I'm charging my stuff. I just don't like it. It's unnatural. Plug it in. It's good for you. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys today. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will holler at y'all later.